All right, I just wanted to make a small video right here on the dab press, the 12 ton. Right here, I got my friends over here because I bought one and then he bought one because I like mine so much. Sorry about the mess behind it, but okay. So what I did is I took the legs that they give you that go up here that extend it so you can lay it on its back and drip. No, nah, no, nah. take them things off there. All right. And what you do, I'll show you mine. You take them and you drill new holes and you put them on like this. All right? You tap and die those in the side. Right? Just like this. I just drilled these holes. And here in a minute, I'm going to tap them. And then I'm going to show you how to bolt these on and show you how much more sturdy you don't have to worry anymore when you're pulling this. It don't go forward no more when you try to crank on the handle to jack it up. It won't fall forward on you no more. Solved. They give you all the parts to do it. Drill and tap. The two bolts right there that they come with on each side. Just like that. See the hole? Bam, bam. And the two over here. Boom, boom. Drill, tap it. And it's stable. Now you have two stable legs out the front for torque. There you go. All right, there you go. It's all done. Nice and sturdy. Now I'm going to show you. You can take, put this in there, and push down as hard as you want, and it don't go nowhere anymore. No more tipping over. Solved. Take it out of these holes. Drill and tap new holes. Done. Stable. You got like a 9-inch, yeah, exactly almost 9-inch extension for stability. Oh yeah, forgot to tell you, this right here, the tap and die, where did I just put it? Oh, right here. It is, oh yeah, 8 by 1.25. 8 millimeter, 1.25 is what those are. The size and the thread pitch. 8 millimeter, 1.25.